Hey guys, what's going on? Lockout men in the building and I'm back with another fresh MTC call for you guys. Now let me give you guys the backdrop of this particular call, which was very much suggested by Anonymous. I could have sworn you had a name, bruh. But you did send in the cash out for the support of this call. And I had to go ahead and knock it out for you. So I do appreciate any and everybody that supports the Make the Call videos. Uh, you can do that by hitting the cash app. That's lockout. I mean, dollar sign lockout, man. And you will get a uh, shout out as well as uh, a shout out for uh for the uh for the call now i'm not sure if you want me to actually say your name so we're just going to keep it as your youtube name which is anonymous so thank you very much for the cash app for the suggestion and uh let's let's uh jump right into it so check it out uh a lot of i'm not i'm not sure but a, a lot of back and forth with this call uh i initially made the call and the person that i was supposed to talk to or the recruiter or something like that wasn't available at the time and they they kind of like forwarded me over to the owner i guess uh the owner's name william um i uh i i try to get in conversation but of course he was busy so you know, we was going back and forth. We was telephone tagging back and forth because when he was, when I was available, he was busy. And when he was available, I was busy. So we was going back and forth, back and forth. Um, we got together uh, for a conversation, but the conversation kind of didn't go the way I wanted to go. Um, it... It was kind of it was kind of short, but overall, here's a, a, a quick synopsis of the conversation. Uh, this company is located first thing first. Um, the company is located out of King George, Virginia. So it's on the East Coast, close to the down southish type uh type of company um he asked me where would you know where did i live at and i told him i stay up in ohio and he kind of like told me that it, it, they don't hire out of ohio because it's kind of hard to get me home and i i kind of like that honesty i i love it when a company gives you that honesty about you know about their hiring practices because some companies just say oh okay well we hire throughout the all 48 but when it when it comes time to get home they can't get you home for whatever reason either either they don't have no freight that's coming up there or or like i said whatever reason so when you do your homework do your research make sure that home time is a particular question because you're going to want to know if they can get you home or not all right another thing too uh i i talked to uh one of my uh one of my uh guests that was on the show and they said that you when you look for a company try to look for a company that is close to your home you know what i'm saying like if you're in Ohio, you might want to find something that's in Illinois or if you're uh, or PA or something like that. You might want to find a company that's close to home, because if you get a if you go with a company that's like all the way in Boomtown, Seattle or all the way in Boomtown, California and all like that, home time will probably be a problem. And then let's say if you decide to leave the company, then you might not be able to get back to 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 your home because you're pretty much stranded over in Boomtown somewhere. So when he told me that, I kind of liked it that. And I guess the conversation from there kind of like went to a 
a close because he kind of like didn't want to open up a little bit more about the company being that he couldn't you know that he you know that i wasn't in the area so again i was able to get a little bit of information i thought it was i thought i wasn't going to get the information for you guys as far as uh trying to find out a little bit more about this company but i passed the ball yes sir yes sir i passed the ball over to my teammate my partner in crime yo cambria came through in a clutch so she made the call for us to get some information uh from northern neck transfer uh again if you want to give them a call to find out a little bit more about the company you can call them at 800-326-2160 uh or go to nnttransportation.com on the web. You can uh, go to their website, which is up right now, and you can see uh, what they have available and what they uh, and what they offer. Let's jump over to the driver's corner and and see what they see what they have available. Uh, all right, so they got a uh, they got driver benefits, uh, preferred lanes, and home time i just spoke about home time all right so benefits uh they have a benefit package and wages and driving uh environments features with the mod they got modern equipment the uh units are 126 inch sleeper cab led lights arctic comfort comfort package for warmth and quietness auto shift 12 transmission which means they're all automatics a detroit 15 collision package double bunks uh refrigerators swivel chairs and excuse me no touch freight and dropping hook man the the equipment is just the equipment itself will probably be something that you guys might want to get into, especially if you guys are in the engine. So if you like a Detroit 15, then this Freightliner Cascadia might be for you. Preferred lanes, they usually run um, between upstate New York, Atlanta, and Atlanta, Georgia. So if you like live in that area, you'll probably have a better chance of getting uh, of getting home always uh and of course home time uh they said they terminals is strategically located to allow drivers near their homes it also established a local market enabling nnt to respond more rapidly to customers demands so again unfortunately for me i wasn't able to come in unless i moved down to virginia or georgia which a lot of you guys are so if you guys want to, uh, you know, see a little bit more about NNT, Northern Neck Transfer, uh, again, their website, nnttransportation.com. Phone number is 800-326-2160. All right, that's it for me. I really do appreciate you guys listening because that's what you guys about to do right now. Y'all about to see what I mean, see what Northern Net Transfer has for drivers. Let's get into the call. Hi, this is William Edwards. I'm with NNT. We're a transportation company out of Virginia, operating east of the Mississippi. Primarily, our lanes are in the 8195 quarter. All new equipment. We pay a minimum of 50 cents a mile. That equates to about $65,000 each year. Uh, we would like to discuss the opportunity of driving with us for two years, candidates or more. Please call or text again, 202-669-0211, and I'll be happy to, to reach you very shortly. Thank you so much.
No, we can't connect. I'm in a project right now. Are you <laughs> driving now, or are you just? Uh, I just a got. Facebook I, man. I, I I just got finished checking in. Uh, where where are we at? Uh, when, when did you, when, when have you driven last? Uh no, I'm 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 current. You you ask me. I'm a, I'm a current driver now. Yeah, I'm. I'm who, you, who are you driving for now? I, I I'd rather not say. Uh, I, I'd rather not say, but I am a, I, I am a current driver. Uh, drive for a local company out of uh, out of Ohio. Um, okay, but you live in Ohio. Yeah, I live in Ohio. But basically, what I what I'm interested in to finding out is like you know I, I heard when I when I, when I when I when I made the call and heard your heard your voicemail I, I heard I heard a little bit of, of yeah. what you of what you're offering but um, um uh so what 50 cent uh 50 cent a mile is that is that yeah. is that 50 cent a mile for uh for two years all, for, all miles that's, the, that's all all miles that's just for that's the basic but you can go on our website and you can review it but if you want to live in Ohio, that's not really a good fit for us. Oh, okay. Um, what? Yeah. What? Where? I mean, uh, you, you're located up in we're, we're, up in Virginia, right? Yeah, we're predominantly yeah we're predominantly eighty one ninety five corridor. We're from okay. South Carolina out to Dallas. Okay. I, yeah, I'm good for that. I, 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 well, I know, I, but I can't get you home. I, I can't get you home is my problem. I don't really go up. I mean, Erie is about as close as I get. I don't really hit that upper side of Ohio. Oh, okay, okay. Well, what about um, what about? I mean, if it's if if it's, I'm a I'm a six year driver. So will I be able to come in at 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 more than fifty cent? Because if that's the case, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll all consider. of our drivers get more, but that's that's our minimum. But at any rate, you, you can go on our NNT website, uh, transportation, and you can review it there. Get all your information. You can, you know, uh, ask for um, an application. All that good stuff. Um, yeah, I, I, I went there. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's uh, well. That that's why I wanted to to talk more about because I guess yeah, I, I, I chatted with you a couple of weeks ago, and as I said, it's it's just um, your area is is kind of not our cup of tea. Right, but in that I, area, yes. Right, but I, I got you know, I, 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 I do have you know, place you know, like I, I do have places up there that I can, that I can uh, spend you know, spend time with. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm available. Yeah. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm available. Well, you, I, I do you have can go, places. You I can go can on, go online and fill out the application. And then we'll have a chance to review it and go through the process and start it that way. Probably would be the best well, before I way put in, of doing it. Yeah, I, I know. But before I put in the application, I, I like to get a little, you know, at least a little, yeah. a, a little bit of what right. I'm about to jump well, into. I'll, 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 be, I'll be back. I'm stepping, in, you know, I will be traveling now through uh, end of the month. So I'll be back to be happy to answer some questions. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so at that point, I really thought that it was over. It was done. I was just going to do the, I was just going to go ahead and do the MTC, uh, give people the information off the website, whatever information I was able to find off the website, which isn't much from what I, you know, explained to you guys before. The website uh, where you can also click the link to apply uh, for this company. Again, the minimum is 50 cent a mile, which he says uh, comes about 65000 a year. Uh, is that good for you? Is that good for you? I mean, you know, 50 cent a mile isn't bad, but is it good either? You know what I'm saying? But um, but unfortunately, you know, I wasn't able to get any more information that I want to get from them, like uh, home time, um, uh, what kind of equipment they had, um, do they offer a lease, and so forth and so on. Because, you know, he was pretty busy. As I said before in the intro, we was going back and forth. We was telephone tagging. So, 
At this point, I said, man, okay. But guess who comes through in the clutch? Yes, sir. My co-host came through in the clutch. So let's get into that part of the call. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. How you doing? All right. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Listen, my name is April Aniston, and I was calling because I seen your company on one of my on one of the Facebook ads. I'm sorry mm -hmm. that you know once I was scrolling by, I seen it. So I was calling. I seen it a lot, and. I'm in a trucking group, and I also heard somebody talking about it, and they received a lot of comments. So I wanted to call and see what all are you offering, what's your home time like, because um, I'm in the business. Okay, let me give you to the safety manager. Hold on one second. Okay. This is on. Hey, good afternoon. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for asking. Listen, as I was telling your, um, I guess, your reception, um, I seen your company being talked about on one of the Facebook ads and also in the trucking group. I seen one of the, one of the people on the trucking group talking about your company. So I seen that they also received a lot of comments. So I wanted, you know, I inboxed them and asked them for the number. They told me, they gave me the number to call. So I'm just trying to get some feedback because I am in the market of looking for another company, and I'm just trying to weigh my options and do some research. So, you know, if you could help me out with that, I would greatly appreciate it with some questions that I have to ask. Um, I will try. I'm not usually the one that answers the questions. <laughs> I will do my oh. best. Okay, well, that's all I ask. You know, that's all I ask. So, um, can you give me a little bit of, like, a background on your company, please? Well, we've been in business for um, over 65 years. Okay. We basically started out as a flatbed company, and then we moved into um, vans only. Okay. And um, we have... 30 uh, Freightliner trucks, they're um, 2018 and 19 trucks, and we're looking, at the moment, we're looking to um, trade out that fleet and upgrade it, but oh, um, but okay. it's, it's difficult now because everything's on hold. Okay. And oh. um, let's see, so basically what we run is the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Um, and oh, well, we've been branching out lately out towards the Mississippi River, like Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri. We don't, some of our drivers go out to California, but that wasn't something that, um, you, it was something that you wanted to do. Um, okay. Now, when you say, do you all do 95 up and down, or do you all stop at um, maybe like Pennsylvania or Maryland and, and come back down, or the complete East Coast? Um, well, for a while we had a customer that was sending us up to New Hampshire um, to do the, all, the, the city of New York or Long Island. We don't do that. Okay. Um, but lately it's just been um, New York and South. Okay. Now, what is, what is your pay? Um, what is your pay like? Loaded or empty. Lo okay. Loaded and empty. Wow. Okay. Um, what's your home time like? Um, well, it depends. Where do you live? I live in Georgia. Um, well, you since you living in Georgia, you probably um, you probably I can't say 
for sure. I can't guarantee it, but um, because of the way the roads run, you probably get home do your 34 every weekend at home. Okay. So now let me, now let me, um, I know you said that you can't answer every question, but let me just throw something at you, if I may. Okay. Now, since I do live in Georgia, let's just say I want to take my home time in Mississippi. Let's, let's let's say I want to do my thirty four there. We don't we we don't care where you take it. That that doesn't matter. If you have a load taking you to that direction, then we don't care where you take your thirty four. Okay. Now, right. do you all have a, a um, have a policy of? How long in it? How I mean, how long in advance I have to state where I want to take my home time at, or my thirty-four, how, however, or can I mean, can I request? I mean, can I request to just go there? Like, say I want to do my say say I work for you all, and I want to do my thirty-four in Mississippi this week. Can I just come when I get back to work on Monday? Can I, you know? Would it be okay if I say, okay, um, I want to take my 34 in Mississippi. Can you all route me there Friday? Or do I have to, or does sure, it have to you be? Can, you can ask that. Mm -hmm. You can request that. But I'm not sure, you know, it's all going to depend on how the roads run. Well, do you all have a lot of freight going to Mississippi? We do. We have customers going out there. We're going to Texas a lot. Okay, so you said something about um, 2018, 2019 Freightliners. Are, are, is that the only thing that's in your fleet, or do you all have other trucks? No, that's all we have. Are they automatic? Are they manual? Um, They're both? automatic. Okay, and you all just run straight driving in? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, I'm... I'm sorry if I'm taking up so much of your time. I'm, you know, like I said, I'm just trying to do my research and make sure that I pick the best company for me. Right. Um. Now, do you all? Well, a couple, just a couple more questions. Um. One of them. Do you all do lease purchase or or no? No, we don't at the moment. Okay. It's something they've been entertaining, but we, but at the moment, no. Okay. Now, um, as far as your, as far as the detention pay, what is the, I mean, is it past two hours or past four hours or? It, um, Well, we we don't really pay by the hour. Like if we get different different brokers allow different amounts of time. Okay. So um, if if you are detained for whatever reason, no fault of your own, um, they take care of you whether they get paid or not. Okay. So, as far as um, as far as pay and layovers go, let me let me ask you another question. Now, as far as a layover, let's say you know I take my thirty four at home, and where my well, do you all have a drop yard or a um, satellite uh place place in Georgia by chance? Um. We we sometimes drop trailers at uh, the Anchor Glass Plant in Warner Robins, Georgia. Okay, because I'm I'm actually on the eastern coast of Georgia. Well, I'm on the east part of Georgia. I'm about maybe forty five, well, twenty five minutes from South Carolina. Okay. 
So, you know, around the Augusta area. Okay. That's that's where I live at in Augusta. So where would I, like, would I be able to bring my truck home and find a spot? You, that's the thing. You, you, would, you would have to find a safe place where the truck and the trailer would be legally safe to park. And that would be, that's what our drivers do. Okay, so if I have a big enough yard, I mean, I know you said a safe and legal place. So if I have a big enough yard to park the truck and trailer at my home, would that be okay or, or can it not be at my physical home? Well, the only thing that would sometimes, if it rains or whatever, if you have it at your house, is it is it in a good place to park a truck or is it going to get stuck? Oh, no, I have seen it everywhere. Okay, well, and then, you know, that's fine. They're not going to, nobody's going to complain about it being parked and, you know. Okay, now, um, I know you all, I know you all run, um, as far as your safety, do you all have, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I know the ELDs, but are the ELDs as far as, like, Qualcomm or, um... No, we, we use Vampira. Mm-hmm. I've never heard of them. And uh, it's an app that you can put on your phone or on a tab. We, I give you tablets. Okay. That's, that, that's what I was trying to get at. Yeah. Okay. It's very simple. Oh, okay. You see, I'm I'm used to Qualcomm. Um, and personal conveyance. What what is your personal conveyance policy? Um, well, PC is usually anything that you that you're doing for you, like going to the store, going to get some food, and you don't want to use your drive time. If you're at a customer and you run out of time. You're allowed to use PC to get to the first available safe place for you to park to take your break. Okay. But now, when you that's say first available, that's not two hours down the road. Okay. Now, Dan, that's that's one of the biggest questions. I, um, since we are talking about personal convenience, that's a big question that I wanted to ask you. Now, when you say when you say the first safe place, now let's say it's a um a, an abandoned store. And other trucks are parked here, and that's the first thing that I can, you know, get in and shut down. Would it? Would that be okay with you all, or does it have to be a a truck stop or a rest area? As long as it's it's a legal place where you're not going to get towed, you're not going to get crashed into. <laughs> but obviously, we don't want you parking on the side of the interstate. Right. I totally understand. But I mean if you if you have a place that, you know, you can you can legally park that you're allowed to park in, we we, we don't care. Okay. The reason why as long as it's a safe place. Okay, the reason why I'm asking and like I said, I'm I'm so I do apologize for asking so many questions. But the reason why I'm asking is because I've been with you know, I've been with a couple companies and they have basically just, you know, told me, every, okay, everything is fine. You know, you can do this. You know, certain things that you said. But when I, you know, I go and get on the company and then I do exactly what they say that it's okay, I start getting pushback and, you know, backlash that, no, this is not okay. You're not supposed to do this. That's why I was asking as far as, like, the personal conveyance. I mean. Do I, I mean, can I have a trailer hooked, um, attached to me and yes. be able to use? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, um. um and see, the, the, the way the way I do my drivers right now, they, they all start out with PC. If they don't use it correctly, if they abuse it, I take it away. Okay. Now, now, when you say a when you say abuse, like I said, I'm just going from A to Z. I'm trying to get everything. When they're when they're eight hours into their break, and they're an hour from their shipper or receiver, and they the, the PC is the last hour to their customer, that's not acceptable. Okay. If if you can't finish your ten hour break 
and get to your customer legally, you need to replan how you're doing it. Okay. So, and what happens is every morning I come in and I look at all the PC, and if it is inappropriate, it is changed to, to be drive time. Because I, I don't allow falsification of any kind. And that's basically oh. what that is. Basically advancing the load, basically. Exactly. Okay. All right. Um, now, let me let me just throw a curveball at you. Now, I know I, I know recruiters have said, oh, no, we're, you know, we're not going to do this. We will never do that. But let's just say you have a driver manager. And your driver manager knows that you're on your 10-hour break. But you're about maybe 45 minutes from the um your you're about forty five minutes from the company basically. You're forty five minutes from the yard and you're not only you know, you're not done with your ten hour break. So the driver your driver manager calls you, tells you, I need you to come uh, I need you to come into I need you to come to the office. You specifically tell them I'm not off my eight hour I mean my ten hour break. There's, they no, said, well, there's no reason for you to come to the terminal that would be so important that you would that you would have to drive illegally. And if someone tells you that, that's when you need to call the safety manager, which is me, and I can take care of that. Even if they say, well, if yep. you don't come to the terminal now, then don't worry about your job. No, nope. that's not going to happen. Okay. All right. I like where this is going. I really do. I like where this is going. Um so a couple more questions. Do you have do you all have a sign on bonus right now and where is the location for your orientation? And do I have to pay I know cuz I'm pretty sure you all won't have orientation in Georgia, correct? Hello. Yes, um, we do have a sign-on bonus. And I'm not sure what it is at the at the present time. I think it's I think it's fifteen hundred, and it's paid out in increments because you know how drivers are. They um they come to work, they get their sign-on bonus, and then they they quit. So right. that's why we pay it out in in two hundred and fifty dollar increments. Every month until you you receive all of your your money. Okay, so now here. Okay, so the sign-on bonus. Let's just say. Okay, I know you said two fifty every month until the fifteen hundred is paid out. If that's what the sign-on bonus is at this moment. Now let's just say after you get the sign-on bonus, you don't like what's going on, um, and you decide to leave. Is I mean, would you all um, send out a bill for that sign-on bonus back? No, as long as you're employed while, for the time of, you know, until you, you get your money, no, we do, we do not retro retroactively take it back. That's crazy. Ma'am, you, you would be amazed. Yes, I, I probably would, but, you know, no. You can, you'll probably see some crazy things here too, but that's not one of them. <laughs> okay, I, I trust me. I totally, un, I literally under, I understand. You see crazy <laughs> things everywhere you go. Um, so how would, um, where, where would your orientation be located? King George, Virginia. Okay, how, um, would I have to rent a car myself and provide my own? hotel stay or would you all pay for that and um usually usually we provide whatever sometimes well, what we do is if we have a driver coming up that way we'll we'll snatch you up and bring you up there with another driver or um the rental car or whatever okay would it be reimbursement um on the checks would you all take back that amount for the rental car if i if so if I have to drive and no, the hotel, no, what right? happens is, is if it's decided that you'll use a rental car, my the owner will 
get the rental car under his account and set it up, and then you will go and pick it up. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question because, I mean, I'm pretty sure drivers don't ask this. Now, let's just say something happens and I'm I'm no longer employed at the company. And my last load is back to my home. Would you all take, you know, take me off that load and tell me, you know, that I'm going to have to find my... So we we, we my would bring you order. here. Mm -hmm. You can clean out the truck and we would arrange a rental of some kind. Okay. All that. right. Okay. So, um, what are your benefits? What uh, do y'all have a benefit package, or are you ten ninety nine, or? Well, we have health insurance, life insurance, dental, vision, and that's it. Um, and don't ask me about how much it costs, because that's not my my department. <laughs> I understand. I, trust me, I understand. All right, so. My co-host, that was a, uh, that was awesome call. Uh, how how do you think the call went? I think the call went awesome, actually. Even though you know she just kept saying she does, she, you know she can't <coughs> answer, she can't answer all of the questions. <coughs> she definitely did exceptional. All right, so you think she did a good job as far as answering your questions and and your concerns and everything? Yes, she she did, and I think that you know, as far as customer service, you know, if I if I was looking for a job and I was, you know, looking to be based out of Virginia, I I think I definitely would go there. All right, so the company um, Northern Neck Transfer. Uh, they're located out of King George County, Virginia. Uh, she did. Uh, she did mention that uh, that they was they they ran flatbed at first, but now they're. What would she say? Did did she say anything about what 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 they run as far as? I, I know she said something about flatbed, but they're they're all what now? Van. All right, so they're all van. So the the call that you the the call that you made and the conversation that you had with her, um, you said she you know she was intuitive and everything and gave you all the information that you want and all like that. Which it was it was a great call and and you know you 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 asked some you you asked some good questions and and the and the female dynamic of of this which will be going into the future by the way um you know I, it's definitely good to see broham what are you doing look at this dude riding on the side man mm -mm. uh the female the female dynamic to see you know how how they would re react to a female versus a male driver calling in asking you know asking questions uh, about about the company you know what, what what do you how do you feel about that i mean i definitely feel that you know it's different variations as far as the male dynamic versus the female dynamic when it comes to looking for employment in the trucking industry most males, you know, this is a male-dominated field. So most of the time, they look for males to, you know, hit them across the head with the, oh, well, I was making this before, so I need to be making this afterwards. I mean, while I'm here, um, I was driving this type of truck before, so I need to be driving this type of truck. You know, if y'all can't guarantee me, you know, at least every weekend at home, and I don't run here, 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 there. 
then I can't do it. You know, it's basically as far as I'm, as far as I have seen with males, you know, they are basically more picky, more like more of a stickler towards like jobs and you know, when they can't you know, when they can't get their way they don't wanna be there anymore. Mm. All right, so again, Northern Net Transfer, if you guys want to give them a call, their 800 number is 326-2160. But I b don't believe that that's the actual number because when we tried reaching out to them before, it was a totally different number. So let me give you the other number that that we got and actually got in contact with him with, which is one five four zero seven seven five two one two one, and their website is Northern Neck Transfer dot com N N T. So, in closing with this particular uh with this particular company you 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 feel that you know at least the the information she provides you would you again like you said if you was in the market of looking for uh a job uh a job how how much did they say they started i mean started you at 50 cent 50 cent a mile Okay, that's a you know that's that's. And the sign-on bonus is fifteen hundred, carried out over several months at two fifty a month. Okay, okay, okay. And you don't have to worry about if you decide that you don't want to be there after you get the fifteen hundred, which I can't understand. If you sat there for let's see twenty five. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150. If you sat there for six months just waiting for fifteen hundred dollars, I mean, I don't understand why you would go anywhere. Hmm. So, but you don't have to. You don't have to worry about anything hap happening retroactively. Why, um, as far as them taking the fifteen hundred dollars back after you receive it you're free to go if all you came there for is the fifteen hundred dollars but you made well over that within the first month i'm sure all right all right that's what's up that's what's up all right everybody again northern neck transfer today's mtc with featured guest Cambria. Thank you very much, man. Hey y'all. This won't be uh th this definitely won't be the last. I, I kinda I kinda I kinda like the dynamics, so this definitely won't be the last. So you guys stay tuned for the you guys stay tuned for the Nets uh make the call. Uh make the call. If you have any uh any companies that you're interested in make sure you send uh let me know in the comments below support the call hook a brother up with some coffee man cash app lockout men dollar sign lockout men you'll get a shout out on that particular uh on that particular episode of suggesting that call so again shout out to uh my girl cambria for coming on and uh uh, being a special guest for making a call and yes er, you know this is a three is it's still considered a two-party call so you guys know what i mean by that so i don't even have to explain that all right that's gonna do it we're gonna get on up out of here y'all take it easy peace all right we stopped recording